Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, let's take a look what has happened yesterday on the euro currency. We see that uh, the pattern that we have discussed, that is the shooting star, this solid candle, the long shadow on just small bodies, so it's perfect shooting star pattern on the daily time frame has held. Since although yes, this intraday chart was re has really significant volatility, but you can see market hasn't taken out of this high of this pattern. And from that standpoint, this pattern hasn't failed. Today we see that market has moved below it. Yes, the although price action was to the downside, but close what above the shooting stars low. But today we'll see the price action develops to the downside. So retracement, whether it will be deep or not, has started. What the potential target? of this retracement. Well, based on the daily time frame, I see uh, just single possibility to estimate this potential target. So if you will draw the 3 by 3 moving average on this chart, you'll see that this recent swing to the upside could be the context for brand body buy. Directional trade, although this pattern will be a bit dragging uh, as the brand body since if you count the number of candles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 well, n not quite sufficient number of candles to the upside but take a look at the candles we have discussed this already so you can see market has opened right at the bottom close right on top almost two weeks this price action has developed to the upside so probably um, we could use it as the potential context for estimating potential retracement of this on the daily time frame. You know that if market shows the bread and butter uh, trade, it should shows uh, it should show the retracement to some significant uh, support area. And the first area of this rust is the three three support. We will see it a bit with more details on the 4-hour time frame. I just want to say that it stands around 131.40 area. It's confidence support on the 4-hour time frame. We have discussed it yesterday. Well, that is also the previous swings high. You can see, so that that's why it's very significant. So if market will hold here, it could become the brand body buy. And that will be a nice opportunity to enter and re relatively safe entry point for the long trade. I mean the long in the direction, the bullish trade. Well, uh, others beacons on this uh, daily time frame uh, point on the same area. In fact, uh, another moment that we could, could could count, take into consideration, could count here is again this natural support area. That's by the way the same, as I said, the same area is around 131, 30, 131, 40 area. So that's all on the daily time frame. We see that retracement in progress. We know that. Uh, there are two different levels that points on the first supports around 131, 30 and 40 area. Well, let's see how it will turn and let's take a look at the intraday charts. Well, currently we could discuss the possibility to uh, uh, discuss the possibility about the potential support area where market could find it. Will it show the deeper retracement or not? Only from the perspective of why, 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 uh, and uh, what if term. So what, what if, what if. Well, uh, based on this retracement to the downside, as we said yesterday, harmonic swing points on deeper retracement, right to the weekly pivot, weekly pivot point. That is also could become, as you can see, some sort of the double repo sale pattern, although um, it's not absolutely perfect. You can see this part of thrust is nice, but here we have but changing of the motion. You can see this thrust up, consolidation, thrust up, consolidation. But in general, 
within this thrust we have no 3.8 retracements to the downside. Here, here was not the 3.8, here is also. Only, only in this area you can see the 3.8 support and after that market hasn't created the new tops, new highs of the double repo that I prefer to see when the double repo is forming. But still, we could treat it as the lookalike pattern and this will be not bad lookalike since the consolidation uh, it's relatively tight, not much candles between the tops. It's not bad for us in terms of the uh, time and if we'll take a look at this thrust on the daily time frame it looks not bad. So why not? Uh, this probably could be some sort of the double repo sell and um, we could apply the <coughs> approach to the trading of this pattern according to major rules. So if market will return right back and close above the 618 resistance with that recent swing to the downside, in this case we could say that double repo has failed and we should be ready for upward continuation. <coughs> Since this could be also, as you can see, ABCD shell retracement to just a trade support, that also could be. Although I still think that we could count on a bit deeper move. Now, the minimum target that I prefer to use when forming the double repo pattern is the 50% support of the thrust of the double repo. And that area stands approximately slightly higher than weekly pivot point it's between the 618 and 38 somewhere around 130.70-130.75 area. Still, since this is the significant support area, previous tops and confidence support, it could be that market could just stop move to the downside in this area. And if this double repo will be the triggering pattern for the daily brand and buy sell, uh, sorry brand and buy, that also is possible. Again, I come to conclusion that uh, the 131.40 confidence support area is very significant and um, it also involved in the price action by these new patterns that we currently see on the daily time frame, on the 4 hour time frame. Well, what we have on the, four, uh, on the hourly time frame? On the hourly time frame, as you can see, it was really dramatic price action for the scalpers although market has retested this resistance of this parallel channel that we have discussed yesterday and even has tried to continue moving inside of this channel it has failed and returns right back. So the way how price action has developed makes me think that this in indeed could be the double repo. Take a look. This market has shown a lot of candles to the upside with the attempt to continue move to the upside but has failed just with the two candles and two candles has erased all this attempt to the upside. This is looks like the market has given up. So that's increasing the pressure to the upside but has failed dramatically in just in the one moment and later market can uh, continue move to the downside. Now the another question. Could we treat it as the double bottom on the hour, uh, sorry double top on the hourly time frame? I do not see any problem with it. It also could be, in fact, the double top. But if this will be the double top, the minimum target and the classical target of this pattern is the distance between the top to the next line counted down from the leg line, from the neckline. This area gives us uh, this target gives us an area around 130.65. Let's take a look on the support levels. 30.65. Again, this is around weekly pivot support and around 50% support of this move. Now the question is will market stop around this area? Could this support, significant support area hold the price action to the downside? And currently it's almost impossible to answer on this question. So if you will calculate for instance few extensions on the 4 hour time frame from this ABCD pattern. Let's take a look what we have. Well, market almost has accomplished this ABCD 100%. 127 I suppose will give us an agreement with this confidence support and 161 it stands around 130.95. 
Again, this potential move to the downside will be deeper even than the 1618 extension. <coughs> so it's currently very difficult to predict how market will behave with these numerous patterns, a lot of different patterns at that point on an area, different areas. It, we could say that this is an area to watch for is the potential support between the weekly pivot point, but um, that is weekly pivot point on for current week since this Friday. <coughs> Next week we will get already in another level. <coughs> but initially, again, as we said yesterday, the 131.40 area, I suppose, will be the crucial area. And market still has chances uh, to find support there and to not proceed lower. Because this is really significant support. And that will be really the beacon for further price action. Market will hold and retrace just broken highs. Well, that will be nice for the bulls and that will be that will add confidence in potential bullish development. If market will break this area, well, that mean that will mean that we need we will need some more clarity from the market, more transparency to understand what is really going on here. So that's been said. It's the conclusion. Market now is forming the patterns that could lead to deeper retracement at minimum to the 131.40, 131.30 area because this is potential the brand butter. This is the potential for the double repo sale pattern, look like pattern on the 4 hour time frame. Some patterns hint on the bit deeper retracement somewhere around 130.50, 130.65 area. Well, that's why we should keep in mind this potential and do not take the fast and unwise uh, decision that if market will break this area then probably the bulls price action has failed. No. We need to keep an eye on this area as the support range, support zone. Since we have some patients that have targets that stand slightly lower than this support area. If market will break, for instance, this 618 support, then probably yes. Because we have no patrons that point on deeper targets. So that will be the sign that probably market has failed with the bullish scenario. And we should be ready for the downward development. <coughs> that's, that's probably all that I would like to discuss with you today. So keep an eye on this level, keep an eye on these patrons. If you're a scalp trader, you probably could try to trade it. But again, this will be current price action you can see is rather tricky. The volatility on the intraday chart is really significant. So uh, be, be sure that you uh, control your risk accordingly.